What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to talk about the upcoming Solana NFTs with huge potential. Most of them are really early, so you have a great chance of getting on the whitelist. With that said, let's dive right in. The first NFT collection is Football Legends. If you are a soccer fan, this is the perfect collection for you. There are so many interesting things about this collection. For the first time in the NFT world, the holders will be able to use their characters in a mobile football game, which allows them to play in PvP competitive modes and pick their lineups, strategies, type of characters, and options to improve their characters' abilities. Prizes can be won by winning a series of games, a single game, or the entire league. According to their website, they are planning to do a giveaway after the Mint, and they are planning to share tickets for the upcoming World Cup. They will be giving away 250 tickets for random games, 112 tickets for the opening game, and 39 tickets for the final game. Right now, they are in the process of rewarding their community, so they are doing another giveaway to reward those who interact with their various social media pages. They are really serious about building their community, and they said that when everything is finished, they will publish their project on Magic Eden. We have not been able to find out the exact date, but whatever it is, it will be before the opening of the upcoming 2022 FIFA World Cup. They are planning to launch a game and according to their roadmap, they will release the alpha version of this game to earn money. Later, the beta version. And finally, they will release the final game where you can play and earn Solana. Overall, Football Legends is a collection you should definitely keep on your radar. The second project we have today is Sonjin. They currently have almost 22k followers here on Twitter and they are basically building a media hub for the Web3 space. That is some very cool, interesting, and high-quality artwork. And they're planning to create an art studio to provide art services to other projects. With what they have been able to do so far, in our opinion, they can do it now, and it will be a good thing if they do because it will help to increase the number of participants. Now, as a utility that the holders get, there are drops of mutant collections with blue chips quarterly drops of Sanjin in a new artistic style, sponsorship commissions, art support for holders who start their projects, and many more. As you can see, a lot of people are interacting with this project, and they are getting very good engagement on both their Twitter and Discord, which is really nice to see. And right now, they're focused on building this platform, Sanjin Club, which is Solana's very first automated centralized media center. The features that are present right now are the space devices where they essentially bring together all the different spaces in the Solana and NFT space on the platform. You can scroll through each space and sort it by date, so if you're looking for a specific space, you can find it here. You can also search for the title of the space and you can basically listen to all these old faces. They do the exact same thing with giveaways by collecting all the giveaways that are happening right now in the space on this platform. So if you want to enter contests, that's the place to be. You also have the Knowledge Hub, which consists of a lot of basic information about NFTs, about the space, like staking, whitelist, and things like that. But I can tell you that it's a very interesting feature, and overall, they're community-driven and they really focus on community feedback. So what makes us optimistic about this project is that they're doing a lot of interesting things. The mint price and the mint date are yet to be announced, but it shouldn't be too long. Sanjin is for us a really interesting project and deserves to be a part of our list. Next on our list is Lost Dog Society. These guys have done a really impressive job. The characters are very nice, the art is very interesting. You can feel that these are professionals who did it. Lost Dog Society is more than an NFT project. It's a dream, a vision, an idea that was born out of oppression, inequality, and the simple fabric of society itself. It is the strength to fight back against those who dominate that makes these dogs so special. It is the seed that is planted in this community that makes it so powerful. Some would even say it is dangerous. Being part of this community is a commitment to yourself, who you are, what you stand for, and who you listen to. These guys are looking to give back as much value as possible to homeowners by creating alternative revenue streams through a variety of utilities and services. They plan to work with a revenue sharing model where their profits are shared among the owners. The utilities will cover many niches, such as online gaming and affiliate solutions. And according to the roadmap, a portion of the profits made on the utilities will go to their Raid to Earn solution. 
If you use the collection as your profile picture, tweet about the project, and do other daily tasks, you will earn even more money in addition to the revenue share. They have already developed an online store and created an e-commerce experience based on Solana tokens. Some of you may have already had luck with their merchandising offerings. They plan to expand their product line and offer free drops and discounts through a unique holder verification mechanism on the store. At the moment, the mint date and the mint price are not yet available, but it won't be long before they are. The next project on the list is Conductor's NFT. This is another very interesting project with over 12,000 followers on Twitter. The Conductor's team is a group of experienced engineers, developers, and marketers who focus on empowering physical assets by using NFTs as receipts or certificates of authenticity. These guys already have a live collection on Magic Eden, it's a collection of watches, of which only 445 are available, and owning one of these watches entitles you to a free NFT from their main collection of NFT conductors, and it will also give you bet multipliers. What's most interesting about this project is that they're really focused on creating real utility and trying to use NFT technology. It's not just basic stuff like staking where we have a utility token and doing raffles and things like that, but they are trying to use NFT technology. Their three-phase solution will include a mobile app to authenticate physical products, a marketplace where you can sell physical products related to NFTs, and a website API allowing us to easily integrate with online stores. Today, plans are centered on a product site called Woosh, which is built on blockchain technology and incorporates the use of NFTs to digitize and track ownership of physical products, among other things. Thus, Woosh is a collection of software tools that massively enhances the traditional receipt by using NFT technology, where a simple combination of software and cell phones matching NFTs can be transferred to the buyer for each product purchase. All of these Woosh receipts can be stored in a single wallet, making it easy to verify, track, resell, and return your products. This project stands out from the rest in that they have created a real utility in their work by providing tangible value to holders. Based on what they have already accomplished, this team has proven that they have the tools, commitment, ingenuity, and intent to provide long-term value to owners. And last but not least, it is essentially their work. In our opinion, it's really interesting. These guys are really trying to build something with the technology behind it, which we think is really cool. Mint is scheduled for release on October 18. The supply is 5,001 NFT and the price will be 2.5 sold. Overall, Conductors is definitely a project to keep an eye on. This is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Which of these projects will you be getting into? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to leave us a like and share this video if you find it interesting. Also, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications for future updates.